Joining me now is Kristen Welker from NBC's Meet the Press. Kristen, good morning. I want to start off talking about the Democratic National Convention that starts tomorrow. What is the biggest aspect or moment of the DNC that people should be watching out for this week? Well, Angelina, you have to think about the big speech on Thursday night. Vice President Kamala Harris, the biggest test of her political career to date. I am told in talking to those who are familiar with her remarks that she's been working hard on them, that she sees this as a chance really to reintroduce herself to the American public. So expect it to lean heavily on biography. But then the big question, will she be filling in some of those policy gaps? She, of course, started to announced some of her policy proposals on Friday. She talked about her economic proposals, which include incentives to build affordable housing as well as expanded child tax credits. And she's proposing a ban on price gouging of groceries. It's actually a controversial proposal because economists say it wouldn't really do much. That's not really the root of what's driving up prices, but it's an issue that polls well. So that is why she's proposed it. But look, there's still so many unanswered questions. Does she plan to build on the Biden agenda? Is she going to distance herself from it? To what extent is she going to be listening to what the progressives of the Democratic Party have to say when it comes to foreign and domestic policies? So I'll be interested to see whether she fills in some of those blanks. The tone of the entire convention will just be fascinating because under President Biden, a lot of people were bracing for it to be a little bit somber with some Democrats concerned about their chances. Now, if you look at the polls, this is a highly competitive race. For his part, Donald Trump plans to counter program the entire event, so expect to see him out on the campaign trail, Angelina. I do want to focus in a little bit on the vice president's economic plan that she just released this week. What do you think her plan would mean for everyday Americans? Well, look, again, the polling suggests that everyday Americans like this type of a plan. They are saying, bring down our prices. We don't care how you do it. Just do it. So that's part of, I think, the thinking that went into this proposal. But economists say, hey, not so fast. Uh, price gouging is not one of the main drivers of why we're seeing prices spike. And it does come against the backdrop, actually, of this new economic data, the fact that inflation is at its lowest point since 2021. So expect to hear a whole lot about that as well. But things like expanding the child tax credit, uh, incentives for building new affordable homes, those are the types of things that do poll well. Could they help her to win over some of those moderate, independent, undecided voters in key swing states? That remains to be seen, but those are the types of arguments she's clearly trying to make as she aims to do that, Angelina. Key things that people are going to be looking out for. Kristen, thank you. Meet the Press airs at 10 right after at 11 Live Weekend Morning News.